Welcome to Steph Reacts. We are going to react to Craig Smith Podcast. Craig Facts on Caffeine. But before we get there, do you know, do you know your fact? Do you know that we are almost at the end of Roast Me Season 5? We are on, we are currently on episode 5 as of today, but there will only be 3 more episodes. It will end on episode 8. So hopefully they bring more seasons, like season 6, probably in the future, I'm hoping. I'm not as sure as yet. But hopefully everything goes as planned. But um, let's without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go. Craig Fox. If I owe you something, get it from God. 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 Hey, welcome to Craig Facts on on caffeine and all death, man. Hey, if yeah. I owe you something, get it from God. God, God, God. What's going on, you whole ass nigga? <laughs> and, and beautiful woman. <laughs> hey, man. Welcome, welcome to this episode. This is is inaugural the first. Yes. Welcome to the inaugural episode of Craig Facts live on caffeine. Through all deaf digital. Aren't we so happy to be here? Man, Caffeine, what up? What up? Hey, man, we where, out there. where do we start, <laughs> Snap? Oh, man, bro. It was back in a small little room, man. Yeah. Th- uh, back in a small little room, man, running through ideas, one after another. Like I said, I remember we, we used to have a band. You remember we had the band, bro, yeah, back in the day? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, we're here now. We're here now, bro. Craig is back there uh, grilling pumpkin meat. We're going to make it with that. Get the pumpkin sandwich and sit down somewhere. Hey, why not? We got to eat, man. We're going to get the episode uh, cracking off, man. Kyrie Irving. What's going on with Kyrie Irving, man? Talk to me. Well, I'm making excuses for taking L's new. Nets just got swept, but Kyrie Irving says that it's because the... Kyrie Irving is getting in his own way. There's a lot of report of Kyrie Irving speaking in the media, and it looks like he is starting to regret the way he, he did things. And I think right now it's a little too late. You wasted three years, about three years in Brooklyn, where you guys had a perfect opportunity to win a ring and you wasted those years because of your own selfish selfish reasons. I don't think Kyrie Irving realized that, but um I think he's starting to realize um that he he will when he retire when he retire Kyrie Irving will have a lot of regrets. And I do think he is doing that now. But um, let's go. The uh, Celtics have been gelling together since Christmas. And, you know, they had Speaking about the Boston Celtics, if Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown win the NBA championship, that would make Kyrie Irving look even worse. Because he, Kyrie Irving didn't do anything without LeBron on his side. I don't know if that would look good on Kyrie Irving's legacy, but we'll see. We'll see. I hadn't had time to gel together because they hadn't played all together because he was out and they made some trades. And he didn't know how to make up for time that was lost. Oh, okay. Yeah, what do you mean gelling? Like, 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 like a team? Like by the time, <laughs> by the time y'all get to the playoffs at the end of the season, you mean y'all didn't play enough together? Right, like, brother, right. this nigga was worried about everything else besides hooping. He's like, uh, man, y'all hear about the about the Dolphins? I can't hoop when this, <laughs> when this Dolphins <laughs> dying in the whole hey, hey. to hoop, nigga. Yeah. But hold on, because chemistry is a big thing in sports. So let's hear what Kyrie said about it exactly. Go ahead, run. Uh, but in terms of our spirit, I, I think being in the what we call the trenches or being in a series uh, but in terms of our spirit i think being in the what we call the trenches or being in a series like this with guys that 
you know, we, we're all just trying to gel, and, and usually you're gelling around the right time, and that, that team in the other locker room is gelling at the right time. They've been gelling since Christmas. Uh, so for us, we, we're, we we're like just in a, Afro, in a new experience uh, as a group, and, and we just got to respect Afro, that. And just you know, bring everything we can to this next game and, and just do one possession at a time. You know, I don't want to be too cliche, but I don't have a lot of answers for how you make up time, you know, from October until now. You are the problem. You are the problem, Gary. Come on. When, you know, usually teams would be gelling got, and things would be feeling good. Pass, brace uh, um, you know, you could. Kyrie need to be quiet, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah. This is crazy. Bro, you've been in the league 10 years. You put yourself in the conversation as one of the greatest point guards to ever play the game. At least Did he? Ask you. I mean, who's better than Kyrie Hill and The Rock? Well, you know, that's just one yeah. of the skills of a yeah. point guard, right? You, you put him up against Chris Paul, who, let's be honest, Chris Paul as a point guard makes a lot of teams better. Right. As soon as he get there. Make Absolutely. a lot of players around him better, right? right? Booker having MVP seasons because he's getting the rock where he needed. Right. right. Chris Paul like a very tiny little uh, Magic Johnson. This nigga is, he's like a tiny Kobe. I would, <laughs> I would agree that he's a tiny Kobe, and I like most of the things that he does. I agree with a lot of the things that he does, but for me, it's, it's your fault. Yeah. yeah, you walk out with the vaccination stance, exactly. Left the team out to dry, and that's why there's no ki team chemistry because you took a political stance and you ain't even no doctor, B. Right. And once you see all your niggas didn't die, you should have got it too. You should have waited <laughs> about three weeks. But y'all niggas still alive. All right, I'm gonna get my shit so we can hoop. Nigga, ain't nobody died on your team. Hey. This nigga said he was in the trenches, bro. He said we've been in the trenches. I don't think Kyrie been in the trenches with them this long this year. What y'all no. think? No, he ain't been in no trenches. He, he, he should have. Earth too flat for that. <laughs> Chemistry is a big thing, though, right? Like, you got to get to know somebody. Yeah. Think about if you had a dog. You got a new dog. Ten-year-old dog. You adopted a dog. Ooh. Name was Spike when okay. you got him. But when you get into the crib, you change his name to Sam. Right. Every time you say, come here, Sam, Spike is going to be like, who the fuck is <laughs> Sam? He's going to ask the cat, nigga, <laughs> did they change your name? Yeah. <laughs> they calling me Sam. My name is Spike, man. What's going on? Look, man, you got to be around somebody long enough to be able to recognize their energy is what I'm saying. And Katie and Kyrie... They got more all-star game chemistry than regular NBA hoop chemistry. <laughs> Them niggas was playing half court. They was playing one-on-one -on -one basketball in the city. Let's talk yeah. about real quick the fact that this ain't no goddamn work release basketball game. You show up to the playoffs and you ain't seen these niggas in two weeks. These niggas are supposed to be practicing. Right. right. Even right. if you're not on the team. I mean, even if you're not... You know, like Ben Simmons, is, is he should be out there practicing with them niggas. He should have played tonight, but that's a whole other story. Right. It's just like, uh, the, you know, these niggas are a little bit entitled as it pertains to just the same shit I said with niggas kneeling in the NFL. It's kind of like, what do you want NFL owners to do about police shooting innocent niggas in the street? Right, right. It's like, what do you want the NBA to do? All they're trying to do is do their best to make sure that niggas is as safe as possible. Right. They put you niggas in a bubble. They gave niggas that ring, the ring. You know, does all of your temperature shit. Right. Like, you know, they trying to COVID protocol niggas. And it's like, bro, just because you can, I feel like he going against the grain. If you want to not be a vaccine nigga, that's fine. But you do understand that on a nightly basis, you're playing in a in a in a in a fucking uh, a room with about thirty eight to fifty thousand people. Right. It's like, bro, you're one of the most at risk people on the planet. You're right. in the top 15 percent of at risk adults and it's so irresponsible for you to take that stance without no science or nothing I and agree. then you know end up coming back anyway right i right. agree i you know i don't know man I, they should keep this team together one more year so they can develop some chemistry are you crazy i mean what else i mean okay. you got I'm with that. Kyrie up out of there i'm bro. with you that can't win with Kyrie. you can't win a, a championship with Kyrie. not that team lebron did I, yeah, think, that was, that was I think so, man. I think you can keep it rolling. I think you can run it back one more year. Let's see if Ben will get out there. Let's see what our full potential is. And if not, start moving people around. James Harden is gone. That was part of the big three. Right. He's out of there. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got Ben Simmons back, but he's not even playing. Right. So what do we have here? We have Kyrie who can play 
sometimes if they, you know, redo the mandate or whatever, or he didn't take the stand with the team. He didn't do the team thing and go get the shot so that right. everybody could play together. And now he's talking about we should have been gelling or the other team is gelling a lot more. I that sounds crazy. The thing is this, bro, with players like Trey Young and Michael Carter Williams and uh and uh Bowl Bowl, the game has evolved. Right. The Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving era is over. Over. They're no over. longer the elite as far as skill is concerned. Uh, you know, at one point, that was the cut. Fox, the NBA, the NBA has catch, catch. The NBA caught up, basically. You cannot build a super team and win just like that because you need chemistry in order to win championships. Look at LeBron. Look at all the older teams in the league. They are struggling against the Spurs, the Memphis Grizzlies, young teams because the time is up. It's like an evolution, you know. After um, a few years, persons, players will automatically be more gifted than what it was 10 years ago. So I do think that everything caught up. Kevin Durant, yes, he's, he's one of the great scorers we've ever seen in the league, but we have other great volume scorers too, so it's all about that and defense. An edge of hoop. We, I mean, we didn't see too many six eleven dudes with ball handled. You know, I mean, it was just right. him and uh, him and Dirk Nowitzki. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now that's that's like average. I gotta disagree, <laughs> but as a devil's advocate, because I understand what you're saying, Robert. Let me offer another perspective. A Kyrie Irving skill set is, is off the charts. Yes. Right. How the nigga can finish at the cup, being a little nigga. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, the English that he finished with off the backboard is crazy. Right. KD being that tall, having that release is crazy too. Right? I don't think that the game has passed these niggas up. I think that these niggas have taken for granted how elite they were, and niggas are closing the gap quick. Right. And sometimes right. The people also think that talent, as extraordinary as, as extraordinary as they are, they think that, that makes up the lack of leadership they have. There's no clear leader. Right. I don't see how you're going to win. They're going to have to at least try it for the first half of next season. You have this, to this reminds me of that season when Magic came back. <laughs> After the age, when he was a yeah. power forward. Right. Yeah. And he was doing all the moves that was crazy in 81. Right, and right. It wasn't working. <laughs> he would do that, and niggas would be like, nigga, I, I've seen the highlights there. But I'm wrong for you. So I don't think that they're quite there. Right. But I think that I saw KD's jump shot get blocked the other day. I've never seen that before. Yeah. But you got to understand, bro. You know, like, you can't. Niggas are studying film. Niggas are hungry to get where you've been at. Right. Like, when you see LeBron in the finals eight, nine years in a row, you start to understand that once he get knocked out of the finals, he probably not going to be back for a little minute. Right, right. He's got that shit figured out. Niggas know when he uh, look at the ball for a second before he... Like, niggas learn you. Right. We all watching this shit on TV. It's just like football. A nigga be dominant one year, next year, they done crushed his ass. Not that they ain't got hurt trying to scramble. Right. Biggest fall off in sports history to you from one of the elite players to average or, do, or, or trash? Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick. Ooh, Over yeah. Ben Baker? I mean, I'm just saying, Conor Kaepernick went from being in the Super Bowl to no team one. And, 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 and really, that was before the Nielsen like, shit. He really, it, it almost seemed like he couldn't get the ball down the field. Or he didn't have the accuracy. Either he could run or he could pass, but he couldn't do the same thing that he needed to do. Like, you would, either you going to be in a pocket, be a mediocre, or you could be on the run. You know what I'm saying? Not right. being accurate. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's, it, it became weird. Right, right. Some of these schemes changed with the coach. Some of these schemes change with the offensive coordinator, and you don't realize it. Right, right. You know, that nigga go head coach somewhere else, and now you're looking crazy as hell out there. You're right. Yeah. I agree. That's a great Lamar point. Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom. Odom. Oh. 
Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom is. Dude, that was crack. <laughs> no, crap was make you better. Crap was make you better at, at whatever no. you want to do. No, it's not. What crack? you mean? Have you not seen New Jack City? Try to find. Yeah. Try to find. What are you talking about? <laughs> that was a movie, man. Real life crack is not like that. Because I'm gonna tell you why. <laughs> tell, tell me. You couldn't even. Do you understand how hard crackheads try? Like, bro. Try to find that many DVD players in a day <laughs> right, right. <laughs> at, a, at a markup value. Yeah, right. Like, you know, breaking in cars, stealing, like you are a super nigga on crack. But the thing about crack <laughs> that a lot of people don't understand is, is when it was new, people just thought you was greedy. They didn't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? They just thought, I got an appetite for crack. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So imagine being the first one or two crackheads that everybody just despised. Uh. You know what I mean? Like, like, Imagine not wow. knowing what it's called. And, and like, <laughs> right. Right. You know, I'm feeling. And try to figure out <laughs> right. different ways to sneak, try to get samples like it's Costco. <laughs> hey man, come over to mine. Bring one of them little fancy bro yesterday. <laughs> the pipe. Yeah, yeah, I got uh, several pipes. You know what? Hey, <laughs> hey man, bring one over every day. <laughs> <laughs> but look, people were probably smoking around their kids. They had no idea. Yeah. Blowing it in their face. They yeah. didn't know what they thought it was. You know cigarette. what it really make a baby oh. so <laughs> Some second hand crack smoke make a baby shut the fuck up. Oh yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. At what point did you become a crackhead though? Like how much hits of crack did you smoke before the first person said, you know what, nigga? Yeah. You a crackhead. Right. Yeah. You ever think about that? Yeah, teeth. When your teeth go. <laughs> See, when you outside, yeah. more do you at home? Yeah. <laughs> Why am I on the corner? <laughs> what is it about crack that makes you migrate to corners and alleys? Nigga, because they're probably yeah. like you want to connect with nature. Uh -huh. Drop a crackhead in the jungle, nigga. I had that whole bit mold and edge. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't even be able to see everything. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm, I'm going to challenge you. What are some good things about crack? Motivation. There we go. Bro, I always say you could drop four or five crackheads on the lanes late at night at Walmart with anybody in the line long. You talking about get that shit moving? Beep, beep, beep. And help you steal some shit. <laughs> Work ethic is off the yeah. charts. Okay. That's a good one. You always got a mechanic. There we go. <laughs> hey, stick to itiveness. Uh. Niggas who get addicted to crack, they really fuck with it for a long time. Uh. They stick to it. I Pay mean, attention to a crackhead gym shoes. Them be some good shoes. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the slept on thing is crackhead relationships. Two people are on crack. If they're together, they're not breaking up. <laughs> they're not breaking they, I, I got a I got a cousin, him and his wife been together 40 years smoking. And they are happy. That's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Remember, ride or die. I tell my girl, look at them. It happened to you are every day. <laughs> what we got next? We got the baby. Oh, yeah. You got the baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look. he sw swings and punches his artist's wisdom, and wisdom punches him back. Wow. Um, which is crazy. I watched this thing over and over, and I'm like, why does he turn? He So he sees, you know, his artist. I guess he says something to him. I don't know. Why does he not just hit him? He's facing him like this. Why not just swing on him? Right. Watch he Okay. YouTube is a little tricky. I'm not supposed to show too much violence on YouTube. So I might have to skip this part right here. So please forgive me for that. Something with him. <laughs> the baby's a real. I like the baby. Yeah, I do this too. what happens when you give a real hood dude some bread, man. Yeah. But yeah. here's the thing. I, I look at this differently. Okay. I feel like this makes him one of the greatest employers in the history of the workforce. Okay. <laughs> because how many times have you wanted to fight your boss? Right. <laughs> right? Yeah, right, right. You're telling me it's, it's a motherfucker out here that will employ me that will square up with me and give me the fair one if I got an issue. That's beautiful. Yeah. And I still keep my job? Right. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah. The baby is a pioneer, my guy. A pioneer. Yeah. <laughs> It's a Texas tornado. The baby got to stay yeah. undefeated, man. That's the only thing. Is, 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 as soon as a nigga whoop his ass, right. it's, it's going to be like, oh, yeah. man. If you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah if you, I, I hope the nigga stay undefeated. Yeah, I mean, she got two murders and a knockout. Well, yeah, no, he exactly. beat up his brother-in-law, too, right? He got three. That's, that's what. He like six and oh. Yeah, yeah, but baby. if this worker dude would have slept the baby, like, you can't beat up the bag. 
Right. You know what I mean? Like you can't so you gotta you gotta take the <laughs> beating up the bag is so funny. <laughs> It's been a couple times I done beat up the bag. I done risked it. Yeah, beat up the bag. I done risked it. What's the coldest way you quit a job? Uh, <laughs> what you do? You boo boo to the cup. The coldest way is not, I wouldn't say it. Well, to be honest, absence, not showing up. Sometimes circumstances will cost that, you know, and life happens, not showing up. I'm putting on your bosses. Uh, uh, yeah. I went, I was working at a video store. And, uh, yeah, I was working at a video store pretty much. It was some foul shit. She tried to make me work longer than I, than I told her I could. Overtime. Uh, overtime. So yeah. I waited until the line was like hella long. Or, you know, you, you slow. You what was you making? I don't even know what I was making, but it was it was pennies. It was pennies. It was it was pennies. But I slowed it up to the line was like real long, probably like 20, 30 people. This dude was working next to me, and I did. I was like, I really got the I'm out of here. Really? Yeah. yeah. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood video. Yeah, man, in Pasadena, man. Hollywood video. Man, yeah, we had the vest on and everything. And that was both of y'all worked there. Both of us was worked there, and that was the that was the plan. Except for this nigga didn't do that part. You know what I'm saying? He he let me quit and it sat there. I don't know why time back there tripping. <laughs> <What? laughs> I was I was I was fired and banned from the, the, the job. He got me the job. Yeah, he got a, he got me the job, man. So we talking about the nineties. In the nineties, right on the corner. Wow. Yeah. yeah, that's wild. That shit was man. funny, man. Video store was like church back in the day. Well, for, I still got yeah. my arch rivals I rented from uh, Blockbuster. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, the basketball game where you punch Nick? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was <laughs> fire. Shit, dog. <laughs> they used to let kids rent games there. Yeah. yeah. You could be 12 and come in. I would never go back. Probably with a video. And my parents bought me a, a Nintendo and a Sega and never bought another game. So I only played <laughs> the games that came with sit. Your parents used to buy you more games? Oh, yeah. So wow. I used to, I used to, I used to, I used to <laughs> leverage honor rolls for more games. You know what I'm saying? Like, Craig had a war order's arrest out right now for a cartridge of double dragon. Hey, bro, I beat Sonic the Hedgehog 12,000 times. <laughs> this motherfucker never got another game? Oh, man. That's crazy. That's this nigga not being specific. The I never got another game, but I used to save up my lunch money to buy a game until I was able to afford it myself. Now, I I started to get the PlayStation 2, then I transitioned to the PlayStation 3, then I got the 4. Now, I'm working on trying to get the five as soon as possible. If I do get the five, hopefully you guys will be able to see gaming content. I'll put I'll put a poll up in the community chat to see if it should be an Xbox or PlayStation. I I would get you guys opinion on that. But um yeah. You know, I had PlayStation for the for the uh, most of my life, you know. Experience dog, that's all it was. We got the Nintendo <laughs> shit. Turn the bitch on. <laughs> Turn it on and you know shit. Hey. Like, Craig, like, man, I need more games. Craig out here being a criminal for more yeah, games. Straight <laughs> up, man. I remember I borrowed uh what, what my trick was, because we moved around a lot, so right before we would move, I would just borrow games from niggas in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> would you return? Nah, I borrowed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know when they got Never lend money or uh, expensive items to anybody putting stuff in a U-Haul. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You'll never see it again. A nigga loaned me five crack rocks for my... Uh, <laughs> oh, man. All right. For my... Uh, okay. Two two, I swear to God, in Brightmore. Like, he, he, he gave me... He, he was a little nigga named Reggie. Did you ask for those crack rocks? No, I was like... <laughs> I'm like, bro, you, you got to get my game back, bro. He's like, oh, I swear I'm going to get back on the plate. Here, nigga. Nigga, gave me half his sack. It was five rocks. Yeah. 
I'm like, I don't even. I'm like, all right, put it in the refrigerator. He came back with the chicken rocks back. Buddy, that makes you a crackhead, bro. You didn't put it in the refrigerator? Did they go in the fridge? No, I'm fucking around. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you know you don't see it. Yeah. If, you, <laughs> if you give away your... Smoke rocks. Oh, but... Uh, oh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Five rocks is a lot of money. I'm just saying. Yeah. Five rocks is like... I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm a crack... Um, uh, a franchiser. Well, we're asking about how do you know when you're a crackhead? When you give away something and get crack in return... Yeah. That makes you a crackhead. Oh, you got to smoke it crack first. It does look like a transaction. <laughs> but could you imagine if he put the crack in the freezer and then he gave it back and the, the drug dealer was like, hey, man, what's going on, man? All my customers saying they got brain freeze. Smoking this crack. <laughs> <laughs> That's some retard. That anyway. Yeah. yeah. Did you play yeah. with the crack? No, I was, I was like squeezing it and shit. Uh-huh. And put it back. Has anybody else? Step. This has anybody, what's on his way? Has anybody held crack? <laughs> that first step. Why you got me crackhead, man? Has, has anybody, anybody your shit for crack? <laughs> has anybody in here held crack in their hand? No. Like I'm talking about the raw crack, not no. the bag. Oh no, no, that no. was in the bag. Hell no, oh, I you, anybody, anybody here held crack in their hand? That should go no. through your skin. I'm just about to say that, yeah. Should it go through your skin? If you hold it, you'll feel it. See? Yeah, yeah look, he, he know an awful lot about it. I don't you, smoke. You, you done it. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 I was telling you, know, that you done it. You like, I'm holding it right here. It was a lot of rocks. I didn't know. <laughs> Let me get uh, five of them rocks from my video game. It's a dope head that only do crack through his hand. He just hold it and get the thing <laughs> yeah. high. Yeah, it's right? a dope head that <laughs> tried to make crack shower bombs <laughs> be a thing. <laughs> <laughs> this little crack shower bomb in the end of time. He's gonna catch on. He's gonna catch on. I'm telling you, don't open that door. <laughs> <laughs> but you let my good steam out. Oh, my God. oh no, that will make steam prices. Uh, yeah. Crack steam and crack a, oh. steam. Ooh. a little crack Damn. sauna. You want a little uh, crack? Yeah. Why not a, a crack inhaler? Well, like an asthma you know, pump. You know some uh-huh. smart ass crackhead got that. And the guy that's like, I'm putting gas, buddy. A crack inhaler? <laughs> oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, crackhead smoke a rock and then do they tick. Oh, yeah. So, like, yeah. you know, you know, everybody, do, they do something different. It's like peeing. You know how you, know you got to pee real bad? And then when you finally pee, you say your little piece, piece, like, oh, God yeah. damn. Damn, right, right, right. right. Woo! I am an animal. You know what I'm right, right, right. They hit that rock. They just, they, you know what I'm saying? Something oh, like, shit. <laughs> well, they say when you first get addicted to that, that you hear a bell ring in your head. They say it's your bell, when, you, when your bell gets rung, it's over with. That's bullshit. Yeah, yep, yep. How, how your brain know what a bell is unless you tell it? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What you got for a snap? Slap her around the world, man. I mean, y'all saw that, man. It was a dude in the bar, man. He just, they say the loudest nigga in the room is, a, is the weakest nigga in the room. So, I met my man was on here in the restaurant. I don't know what the uh, conversation was, but my man was, I mean. This is another video with some noticeable violence. So, I will post the video right here. Sorry, but you'll be able to watch the rest of this I would be able to continue it just give me a sec show the close up of him on the ground that's very humbling <laughs> yeah hey, y'all gonna help me up that nigga was down there counting his teeth like one two three <laughs> 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 I heard something crack he sees the target he sees the target right here look yeah. he sees the target but that's how you aim oh <laughs> you ever oh slap somebody God. like that Hell he no. wilted like he just went, Ooh. What would make you slap somebody like that? I slapped this fat bitch in church like that one time. <laughs> oh, man. I was a child, though. I was a child, yeah. man. You was in church? In church, in church. man. Oh, she was man. trying to kiss me. I gave that bitch a, hi yo! Oh, the yeah. The ball is tip. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? And one day, like years later, she slapped me back. And that shit hurt like a motherfucker. And I was like, man, <laughs> slapping is no, is, is no game. You ever slap? I don't want to get slapped to sleep in a place that serves artichokes. Well, yeah, well. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's real. Getting slapped to sleep is humiliating. Yeah. And it's Corona. You don't want to be down there where people's gym shoes is at. <laughs> <laughs> you Have you ever slapped a man? Uh, no. Close. You got close. I got close, but no. Oh. Now, but now I see. I gotta work on it. I mean, it's like <laughs> slapping's the thing now. Everybody's yeah. getting slapped. It's yeah. been nine back-to-back slap videos. It's been a lot Lang- of slapping. Langston, I know you've slapped somebody. 
uh, when I was in the military a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it was just just a couple of white boys. They like people from Texas, Northeast. They just like to get in your face, like you're not going to do anything. So you just have to. It was kind of fun actually because no one cared. So it was like, oh, I can get away with this here. Like, so. <laughs> but not like out here in civilian life because people don't really. I don't even know like if that. I should tell the story. I was at uh, the Cabana. You remember the Cabana Club on Ivar? Hell no. <laughs> uh, I'm, in the, I'm in the club chilling, huh? And I'm standing at the beginning of the club, like when you first walk in, and I'm just drinking drinks. It's like 2006. And this girl walks by, but she's walking with a guy. So they're walking together, and as they pass me, she lets him get in front of her a little bit, and he doesn't notice what she's doing, and she looks behind him and smiles at me. So I'm like, oh, that must be a cousin or a relative. There's no way that if that was her guy, <laughs> okay. that she would All be right. doing that, right? Okay. So I'm making eye contact, and I kind of throw up the what's up, and the guy, he must have he must have heard the chemistry in the air. <laughs> he didn't see me, he didn't see her. So he turned when I went like this, looked her in the eyes, and followed her eyes, and I'm standing there like this. <laughs> and, he, and he like... You know, he do the whole gesture, like, what's going on? And I, and I humbly bow out. Oh, my bad. No disrespect. You know what I'm saying? So they go to the dance floor. I'm standing in the same spot. It's like an hour later. Now they're on the dance floor, and his back is to me. So he's dancing, and she's looking at me over his shoulder. And, and oh, she, she, man, she was, it might have been a setup, right? So she's looking over his shoulder, smiling. I'm looking. He must have heard the, it, it heard it in the air again, because he <laughs> looked at her eyes and turned around. And I'm, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you gotta be more discreet, first of all. All, all it takes is one head nod. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Craig was like, right. <laughs> <laughs> so look, I apologize. I, I gracefully bow uh, out again. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no right, chance. Right, man, fuck you, Ain't no gracefully. I'm so shit. sorry. <laughs> Hey, hey, that's you light-skinned niggas' yeah, problem, yeah, man. Yeah, that's it right it there. It was gracefully. I said, sorry again. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would never so, so I hit him with the humble bow again. You know, the whole samurai, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, like the whole yeah. thing, <laughs> B. So, uh, so another hour go by, now the club is over. <laughs> and I'm in the same spot on the same drink the whole night because I showed up drunk, right? So, <laughs> so... I'm drinking my drink. This nigga was over there in VRP, first of all. <laughs> Very regular people. That's, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. VRP is right here. I'm in VRP. Yeah. <laughs> so ahead. it's over. They're walking out. And now she's on this side. He's on this side. And I'm standing over there. He don't even look at me when they're walking out. So as they're walking out, she do it again. So And, I, and I, this time, he do the whole do si -do, And I walk over to him. And I say, and I want, and I, in front of her, I'm trying to say, you know what, bro, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful, man. But I'm just letting you know, she'd be reckless eyeballing. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't even get that out. I said two words, and he called me a B I T C H. And before he could finish it, the slap happened. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's when I did that. You know what I mean? This nigga, but this nigga in this video. Go right now with you. I'm out of here. Yeah, that man. was Shout crazy. That man. Yeah, that loosened the back tooth for sure. Oh, what? He, he smacked the, the bottom of his brain with that one. You know what I'm saying? The little bottom brain got slapped with that one. God damn. What you got for us, G? All right, back to TikTok. Another trend that's going around social media right now is uh, black women with white boyfriends allowing them to call them massive in videos. There's no way. There. This mouth NASA. 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 This that can't be real, G. Man, that shit is demonic. Demonic stuff. Some of the man. This that that can't be real. I I don't. That is not cute at all. Whoever started this trend need to be canceled. 
<laughs> People do anything for social media these days. I don't know. Understand what would? How could you put your dignity? Can I mean? Can it's another sign of the generation that may be lost. But can you even have a healthy relationship and be with somebody if you have no dignity? Is that a lack of what is is that a lack of dignity? What is that? I ain't gonna lie, man. No dignity, probably some of the best. No sex. dignity, no doubt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like the way you're working. No, no dignity. dignity. <laughs> I got the bag it up. Bag it up. <laughs> I like the way you're working. No, no dignity. <laughs> 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 I got the bag in the head. Yo. That, hey, man, that, hey, that no dignity pussy probably be slapping. Them, oh, you know what yeah, I'm yeah. It's, yeah, it's crazy, I'm... man. It's unfortunate, man. I don't like it, but I also don't give a fuck. Nah. I mean, would you even be on the other end of that? If, you, if your woman asked you to do that, I couldn't even be anywhere near that video. Here go the thing. Some of the black women were tricking the white dudes into doing it. Right. I told right. him to hold my jacket. He didn't even know. And she like my Mac like bro, come on man. <laughs> That's just terrible. Too well, far, what what, what do you what do? You... These are the grandkids of house niggas. Right. Why do you think a woman would do that? I'm trying to figure it out. I just can't get into that kind of psyche. Right. Right. Um. I guess you do anything for the you know the gram the TikTok. Right. Anything to go viral. You think? Facts. She hit the nail on the coffin. These young generations. These. They, they do anything for the likes, the clicks, and uh, to get popular. So I think that's we are doomed if we have persons thinking that way, because that's not the way to go, man. Not the way to go. Are there any fathers in these? Ooh. Probably some white fathers. Yeah, I mean, definitely. some of them women just look crazy. Yeah, they, some of them was fucked up. Some of them just look crazy. It's like, no, leave our, leave our special bitches alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, let you know, like, come on now. Come on now. Some of them look like, yeah. Like, leave her up. Come on. What, what are you doing with that? You Have you ever saying? humiliated yourself for a woman? <laughs> to get a woman or to keep a woman? You've never humiliated yeah, I yourself. I cried on purpose. Really? I remember. Yeah. I was, I was, yeah, I used to watch too many of those uh, rom coms and stuff, and I thought all those tricks were working. You used to cry to keep a woman? No, it worked. But it was, uh, was sucking, sucking. Suck that nigga light skinned, yeah. though. She was like, stop crying. Yeah. He was like, I can't. I was, I was like 16. Oh, you should God cry till your mustache got wet. Huh? <laughs> he didn't blow off the water. He was wife. crying like <laughs> he blow it dry. <laughs> nah, man. I ain't gonna lie though. I ain't gonna lie. I was, I was trying to talk to this girl in uh, in eighth, eighth grade, going into ninth grade, and. Uh, she was in front of my dad's house. I was fixing my bike. And we started talking. And next thing you know, this bitch was like, yeah, she a dancer. And so, I, you know, I used to jit. She was stripping in, in high school? No, no, no. She was just a dancer. Oh, like, that's an advanced she dancer. <laughs> she's 12 already stripping. Yeah. <laughs> she's she flying yeah. to Thailand to strip for old white men <laughs> on the weekend. <laughs> Uh, uh, strip for lady boys. You know what I'm but no, this bitch was like a, like a hip hop dancer. And so she's like, oh, let's do a routine. So this bitch <laughs> had me in front of my dad's house doing it. I was blinded by how pretty this bitch yeah. was. And my dad, my dad came outside. <laughs> my dad came outside. It was like, it was like some, uh, I swear to God, it was like some, um, some state of the last dance or honey. Yeah. Type shit, you know, like with the. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, did you do the truster where you just turn your back to her and fall back? Uh, no, nigga. Oh, you, baby. No, nigga, I swear to God. She laid him out on the ground. <laughs> nigga, my dad came outside. Like, hey, Chris, come here. We talked to you for a second. He didn't embarrass me. He's like, hey, man, what the fuck is you doing out here? <laughs> yeah, she hit me. Like, the gravity of it hit me. Like, oh, shit. Like, this bitch had me out there ticking, <laughs> ticking, and popping and shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, nigga, please. That's pretty nasty. <laughs> I, thought it was rage that I swear to God, it was like it was like I was doing backup dance for shit. <laughs> hey, Langston, have you ever embarrassed yourself for a woman? Microphone check. Shit, tons of times, probably. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm... yeah. <laughs> Bubba's voice. He has some stories to tell. Alone. And, it, and I really believe that. Man. Oh, the yeah. guy. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to sit here and be like, no, nah, I was cool all the time. No. Right. 
Oh, I mean, yeah, when I was younger, hell yeah, I'd do, do all kinds of dumb shit. Most embarrassing thing you ever done for vagina? <laughs> embarrassing thing. It's gonna be some. It's gonna be weird. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's not embarrassing. I mean, I just, I used to, I used to mess with a chick in the bay, and it turned out she was actually just fucking around on me. So I, I consider that embarrassing because yeah. I used to ship. I used to go up there every week to see her. So, I yeah. mean, that's, that's about it. But there was no, like, bought a billboard for some chick you were trying to get married to yeah. or some, you know, no, none of that. A woman? Did, you get, did you get a sniff of that group chat yeah. and see how she really felt about you or no? <laughs> no, I mean. How did you find out, Langston? Because her energy changed. I mean, just like yeah. any chick, you know what I'm saying? She just wasn't really good at, at changing, yeah. like, you know, hiding her attitude. So, yeah. You know, it's like, once you're old, I'm like, what the fuck is really going on? Like, yeah. you know what I'm Women saying? Women like, get real dismissive when they got new dick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, you can just, like, you can just yeah. tell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, bitch, you wasn't that cocky when there yeah. wasn't no other dick involved. But now, <laughs> now you'll call me back and don't call me back, bitch. Oh. What do you want, Charles? <laughs> <laughs> it was basically like that, though. So yeah, I was like, was oh, good. really? Okay. Yeah, bitch, I live here. Let me in. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> New dick changes things. But it's always funny when you get that call and the new dick they thought they was elevating to don't work out. <laughs> That's always like, this is over. Uh, that that over. was a fun little email. Hey, how you doing? Fine. Bye, yeah, bitch. Okay. <laughs> you did, you doing great now, actually. Yeah. I want to throw a party. And it, every woman that I ever been with that didn't think I was going to make it, I want to invite them. Okay. I want it to be a surprise party. And just... Lay it all out and just and just I'll just boast for like a yeah. you know what I'm saying? Make a toast. <laughs> ding ding ding! I would like to make a boast. Uh, I would like to make a boast. Uh, first of all, I'm killing shit. <laughs> Can we agree? Shout yeah. out to this bitch over here. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel you, nigga. I wanted. To, is that is that wrong? No, that ain't wrong. No, no it's your party. Yeah. I mean, I get it. Is there an ex that you would want to? Uh, Exact revenge upon? Mm, no. No. No, I'm cool. I'm cool with him. Move, moving forward. Yeah. But that's a great. Mature. That's a great way to look at it, cause I, it's rare. Do you, all your relationships in the past before you settled down? Did they all end regular, or was it like knock down, drag off, drag out? You know what I mean? Just. Well, I'll, I'll say with the crazy thing I did. So back in the days of pagers, right? So. I, I found this number that my girl had. I found the number. So then I called and I paged it myself and put the number in my pager. Like, oh, this, this motherfucker paged me right now. She's like, oh, he's just a friend. Like, no, nah, I'm about to call him. So I was acting like I was on the phone. Oh, you did what? You did what? With her? With who? What happened? Oh, he talking about y'all doing all kind of nasty shit. Made that shit up. Went down to, um, to his job and I knew the nigga. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My bad. I'm bro. confused. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. So you made it up, and then you went down there. Yeah. And, 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 that's crazy. And so this nigga like, I heard too. I heard the same shit. The rumor that got back to me. The rumor back. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, I, I want to give a shout out to some people in the chat, man. What's going on, boss man? Underscore 615. I get deep. Langston stole Todd's story. <laughs> Pasadena legend said fire. Lexo. Yeah, man, all y'all, boss, man. Yeah, we're going to get this chat up, man. What's up, uh, Free? What did, what did that say, Freedman? I don't know what that said. <laughs> yeah, free. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I gave up on the word. I gave up on the word. You get tapped out on the word. You ever tap? Come on, everybody taps out on the word. You got to tap out the back of that tap out. It's, <laughs> it's new shit out there, man. What's up, y'all? Appreciate y'all supporting. Tap nigga. And we got to get this up, man. We got to make my show the most popular show on caffeine, man. Yeah, Who got the up, next clip? Yeah, my show. Shout out to yeah. CP. Yeah. Shout out to CP, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Mine too, man. Just up there. I ain't trying to be the most popular. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, right, right up under it. Getting paid hey. the same. We're going to make it happen. <laughs> Who got the, let's go to the next yeah. clip. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll go to, we'll go to an episode of my sitcom. Can we do that? Hey, man, this is Big Head Craig. It's my sitcom, man. Check it out. I got my own internet sitcom. It's like the Black Sunny in Philadelphia. It's called Big Head Craig. Check out this episode.
saying what it is. I'm tired of people not saying what it is, man. I'm a director. Hey, I'm a director. <laughs> Places, everybody. Son, I apologize. I took some risks to provide for you and your mother. It landed me in jail for eight years, and it took me away from you. Took some risks. What's up, pimp? Hey. What's going on, Flank? Just left the shop, man. You left this up there. I figured you might oh, need okay. this. Oh, okay. Appreciate it, man. What y'all got going on up here? Oh, right. y'all chilling. What's happening? Hey, Charlie, what's up, my nigga? What's the word, my guy? What's up, oh, big old man? man? What's the word, big dog? Man, I ain't seen you in a minute, you, man. What you been up to? Oh, shit. Not drinking enough protein shakes, yeah, obviously. Yeah, you, you know, man. You, when you light-skinned, you, you got to play the part, man, so don't nobody fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can use that kind of life, man. Fuck the kids, man. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. What's been going on, though, man? I'm telling you, nephew been out there doing it big, though. All these views, man. What is this nigga doing? This man is a lyrical and creative genius. I need me a thick but no homo, though, because that's that gay shit. Like, as long as I say no homo, it's not gay, right? Absolutely right, sir. Anime. Shout out to Charlie Google's film. <laughs> Protection. Kick on me, poppy. I teach her. This is so dumb. Everything about this was iconic. Let me know what you think, bro. I got you. We should call. Like, this needs to be the best meme. This needs to be the next Old Town Road. <laughs> What's going on with you, you big French bull, Mastiff Terrier looking motherfucking dog ass nigga, man? You just like your daddy, man. Look at you, boy. You get big. Ah, shit. Nigga, I broke my hand. You what you feeding this nigga? You a got whole lot of greens. You man. got some more of it. I'm hungry. They got some weed in here. <laughs> I want to take some time, though, man. I got to thank y'all, man. Okay. First of all, I want to thank you for holding down the shop while I was in the, in the penitentiary, man. No, I'm just saying, just all you got to do, yeah. nigga, is put the... Yeah, run yeah. the alternator. Run the line to the alternator. Yeah, the, the tube got to go in the hole. He's on roast me, that's... I cannot remember right now. Without you, none of this would be possible. Right on. I love you, man. Much love. Brother-in-law, you've been a rock, man. You put money on my books, you kept me eating while I was locked down. You was there for my son. You've been a rock for my wife. Whatever you need, I got you, man. I'm just, I'm just humbled by that, brother. I gotta say though, man, if I had something in my glass, I would toast you. You've been doing right by my sister. And I really honor and appreciate you for that. I know things ain't been perfect, but you've been doing the best that you can. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, brother. And I appreciate you for that. Dad, glass me up anyhow. Even though mine's is empty, toast to you. To my son, man, I, I, I apologize, Junior. I wasn't living right. And because of that, the system took me away from you. The show you are watching is a paid program or advertisement. USA Network is not responsible for the claims and representations made by the sponsor. Hello world, I'm Cephas X. Hotel. I have a breakthrough for you today. Years ago, my ex-wife, come on, my beautiful ex-wife, we traveled to Kemet. I picked up what I thought was a harmless blueberry. Unbeknownst to me, it was a Godoji berry. Godoji. Godoji berries have healing qualities. They heal any and everything. You ain't got no hands? Godoji berry. You got a bad knee? Godoji berry. You a little slow and don't know where to go. So basically, you're telling me Craig got arrested for false advertisement. Go Godoji berry. Baby, bring me a berry. Hurry up now. Hurry up, baby. Okay, baby. I mean, you need a damn dagger to give me a bear? Why you got a dagger? My bad, baby. Okay, I mean, you know. Just... Get the fuck up out the screen. Look. Yeah. To celebrate the Confederate Army, a black uh, mayor in Tennessee granted this. 
Is he wrong for that? How are he they... didn't do it. He didn't do it. You know how that is, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you, when you take office, you know, a lot of people want that cloud of taking office. But you do understand that the agenda is you're going to be ushering in some things. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, you know, like uh, Obama's job was to uh, usher in uh, gays in the military. Right. That was his thing. You know what I'm saying? Colin Powell didn't want to do that. That's why Colin Powell didn't become president and take that. So spot. you're saying Obama had a gay agenda over a black agenda? Well, it was just, it's just what it is. It just came with the position at that time. It was going to be ushered in on that date for whoever. It's always a president that is not no fucking, you know, that we don't see and never changes. Obama, Obama's a black president or a gay president, Todd? Oh, well, okay. he's, a, he's a black president because he was black. So, <laughs> give me the W. We can get it. We got uh, black mayors giving out Confederate month. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, right. how are they going to celebrate? They running around lynching niggas? But to me, I, look, to me, it's hilarious. If you're, if, if you're stupid enough to celebrate a loss. Is that him right there? It looks like it should be him. <laughs> 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 it should be him. <laughs> a mayor. <laughs> he trying to start his own line of clan uh, legging outfits, call them clan dads. But, I, but I'm, to be honest with you, I don't disagree with him giving them a holiday. A month? They got, they got you know, you, look, in this country, you don't have to like me to have rights. I don't give a fuck if you like me or not. Even if you hate me, you got the same rights I got. So go ahead and take your holiday. You got the right to get your ass whipped on your Straight holiday, up. too. Somebody yeah. run up on you. I don't feel like seeing this shit today. Yeah. I'm going to some motherfuckers who have some shit to say, too. Yeah. 30 days of L's. Yeah. Really? What American holiday isn't tied to murder, rape, and treason? Name one. Uh, Halloween. That's the, are you serious? <laughs> There's no American holiday that does not involve death, destruction, and thievery. Labor Day. Valentine's Day. 420. Valentine's Day. <laughs> Hold on. Explain Valentine's Day. Oh, Valentine's, Day. Day. I don't... <laughs> Valentine's Day is like this. Valentine's Day is like, uh, that's like the NBA draft for the pussy. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, Valentine's pussy Day. Draft. You know, yeah. Yeah, Valentine's Day is the day where if your pussy don't get drafted on Valentine's Day, me and there, if you don't use your pussy on Valentine's Day, then you, you go into what I like to call free agency. You know what I'm okay. saying? For spring and summertime. Okay. It, it's kind of like Groundhog's Day for your pussy. If you well, don't see no dick, it's going to be a rough six months. It's, when, it's, where, it's where women can find out how valuable pussy really is. Exactly. Right. exactly. You know? Exactly. How, how good did you do this season? You know, it's pussy harvest season. Right, right. I would like gifts for this pussy. You know, yeah. you know pussy didn't do that much. Well, it's the crazy just, thing is if a lot of women had their mind right, then the pussy could be the gift. But they give you pussy instead of gifting you pussy. More women need to gift men pussy because it makes you feel like, oh, she really appreciates the fact that I'm a man. But when you give it, it feels like a handout. You know what I mean? Like you don't want it no more. Don't give me no pussy. Gift me pussy. I'm, I'm taking it. I'm taking. I'm taking it. Yeah, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I'm say, <laughs> give, give you gave it and gifted it. Give me some pussy. Don't yeah. don't don't yeah. give me. Yeah. You're like what? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Nah, no, because you know, because then then you know, if I don't like the pussy, then it gotta be like, oh man, y'all don't, don't like a gift. Versus, <laughs> you gave it to me. I bitch, I can give it back. I'm good. Thank you. Hey, wait, you can you re-gift you pussy? Martin Luther King Day is based on the murder. Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> this is a, this is murder <laughs> and destruction. Hey, name a nigga live that got a holiday with peace around it. <laughs> what the fuck got a holiday? What? Now he got a holiday, but four twenty though. But no, um, man, you know, I don't even know. Uh, That's a really good Memorial question, Day, man. Uh, Valentine's Day. Memorial Day. Somebody in the comments said, said, "Huh." Let me give you, let me let you know what I mean. Thanksgiving, murder and destruction. Yeah, but that was some turkey. Mar well, I mean, American Indian. Turkey just came in, too. They was, really eating, they, was eating, they was eating corn, fish, and Indian pussy. Veterans Day, yeah. murder and destruction. Fourth of July, but murder and destruction. Day. Christmas. Yeah, Mother's Day and Father's Day. There's, I can't think of a holiday that's based around everything being okay. It's always based around somebody taking something from someone and uh -huh. then... Celebrating that they were able to take it from the person. Kwanzaa. Well, holiday. Kwanzaa. Mother's Day. Father's Day. <laughs> the nigga that started Kwanzaa is the FBI informant. Murder and destruction. 
He was responsible for giving information on the Black Panther Party as well as, as, well as other black leaders in, in Los Angeles at, at that particular time. Black Friday. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Child of labor. <laughs> there are little Taiwanese kids putting uh, chips in these big ass 70 inch computers. The thing is, there's a lot of things that it, that is being covered up for holidays and everything. So there's a lot of things that we do not know what what's really going on behind closed doors. They ain't making <laughs> no fucking money. Uh, <laughs> labor Day. Know. Labor Day, slavery. Yeah. <laughs> We're just all the blood from the labor movement from like <laughs> unions. <laughs> Sublicide. <laughs> you know what that Somebody is? Somebody said National Donut Day. <laughs> diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> I got liver beaties, not diabetes. 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 Yeah, Easter. They beat Jesus' ass. Y'all didn't yeah. see the movie? <laughs> <laughs> you said Jesus only had welt marks on his ass. No, no, I think it ain't. no, no. <laughs> And they got a gay executioner. <laughs> move that head. Move that head. Give it to the thing I'm coming out of that. Jesus, move that yeah. head. <laughs> hey, man. Can I, where's my camera at, man? Oh, you got a camera? Shout out to, you know, like this one I can point. You know what, man? Yeah. <laughs> Who gives a nigga one of them goddamn karate uh, head, man? This guy got some guy. Yeah, he's he's hard. He's got that glow. He got the karate on. He ran around the office. Anyway. <laughs> This nigga doing Naruto shit in his car. Well, you get a small army jacket at. <laughs> at the regular size nigga store. A toy soldier ass this nigga. Shop, uh, this nigga shop big and small. Yeah, for little shoulder niggas. Let me get this jacket off. Keep the dog. Keep the dog. This nigga, Lionel Richie, little brother. <laughs> <laughs> Lindo Richie, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, come on, yeah. <laughs> Could you be the executioner? Could you be the nigga beating the, beating, you know, slanging the whip or cutting people's heads off? If that was the job of the uh, back then, yeah, I'm not gonna do it now. Just brought back the uh, d death by in 18 states. Oh yeah, no. I'm so not could you? Now. Hunt, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The Dead by firing squad. Are they all shooting you in the same spot, or do they all get a separate spot and just blow your ass up? That would be hilarious <laughs> if them niggas could shoot good enough to all hit into uh, the same hole. Oh, uh, well, you know it can happen. They can definitely do that. Yeah, it's it, it, military motherfuckers for sure. One or two yeah. shots pop out, and we all go to the same spot. But I would imagine them all picking a spot, and then they all shoot your band. Your body just. Dissipate. Right, right. Dissipate. See, I think they should let the fact that if somebody's getting executed, that means that they murdered somebody or whatever, and the state sentenced them to die, right? The family should be able to pick how you die. Hey, if you fat, hey. if you fat, they should make you get in perfect shape and perfect body and then kill you. <laughs> oh, oh. Hey. You fat and we got to have no, get up to the push ups. You like, yeah. I'm starting to love myself. <laughs> My favorite one is, hey, kill somebody with love and kindness. I say, I said this before, make a shirt with spikes on it and have a real strong nigga hug him to death. Damn. <laughs> Game yeah. of Thrones shit is that? Yeah. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Like we can yeah. 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 Fatality. Yo, that's crazy. Fatality. You're like your fat. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Yeah. she's a lesbian, make her girlfriend put a, sti uh, uh, a oh, spiked uh, covering over oh. her tongue. And eat no, her pussy no, to death. No. Nigga, wow. yeah, make precious ride your face till you just die. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Nigga, feet stop moving. Suffocation. That needs to go right ahead of me. That's wild. Uh, That's wild. <laughs> give me a way to kill somebody who deserves to die, Langston. I mean, a bullet to the hand works just as well. No fine. guns. Uh, ultimate elation for a poisoner to wait on the symptoms. And when they start happening, like, <laughs> yeah. Everybody yeah. yeah. <laughs> <First> knows. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, look. Like, oh, you gonna be all right? Telling me, you gonna be You want some tissue? <laughs> you give a nigga false hope, like he don't live. He don't know you killed. That's funny, bro. What if that shit don't work? <laughs> hey. Everything you try, just hey, did that happen to you? <laughs> you just winds up with a twist. Well, didn't, didn't you go to a party and somebody tried to roofie bitches and you end up drinking a drink? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, Not no. the homie. They was like, guess we gotta fuck cuz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what happened to you last night? Yeah, yeah, one groupie. Right. Yeah. This motherfucker had a <laughs> this motherfucker had a sip of Hennessy at a party. Right. <laughs> Got roofie. I mean, I found a great one of the free drinks that was getting poured out there. Oh. oh. Nigga, you had like that was bro, an yeah. explanation. Yeah. That's how every bitch get got. It was free drink. A bitch ain't never paid for her own roofie drink. It always was free. <laughs> That's what happened after that. Yeah. Thing. Oh, no. I just uh, uh, yo. And I woke up in the limo. <laughs> it, put me in the limo. Was the, it was the limo driver. <laughs> it was the limo driver. Yeah, somehow, I had a lifetime supply of Jello pudding. <laughs> I was so. Hey, we're gonna wrap this show up, man. CP, tell them when they can uh, when they can listen to your show. Yeah, man. So my show, uh, the CP podcast, we doing it live on Caffeine every Thursday. So uh, I think it's gonna be like at around six. Um, and then, uh, you know, of course, the podcast will come out on all the other platforms and all of that. But we're doing it live, man. Crazy Craig is going to be on next week. So, uh, yeah, you know, we're doing it, man. Shout out to Caffeine. Uh, this is lit, man. And, uh, yeah, man, let's get it. Somebody said CP to like Steve Francis. <laughs> <laughs> Steve That's Francis. Funny. That's funny. Anyway, though, yeah, peace out, y'all. I'm, I'm about to dip. Appreciate you, man. Hey, man, hey, man. Craig Facts on Caffeine every Monday, 6 o'clock. Make sure y'all tune into the live. Download the app. Tell your friends about it. Purchase the merch. And if I owe you something, get it from God. God, God, God. That's been this episode. Wonderful episode. Wonderful episode. My thoughts and thoughts. Everything went smoothly. It's great to see CP on the podcast showing support. That's one thing about the roasting cast. They are like a family. They will always support one another. And I really, really appreciate that. So, um, this will be something that will be posted later on tomorrow, hopefully. I will be posting these and everything. But the podcast was good and everything. I really enjoyed it. They had insightful topics. S- certain topics I wouldn't be, I wasn't able to share because of the YouTube terms and conditions I didn't want it to get demonetized so I had to cut that out the video but hopefully everything goes as smoothly as possible but thank you guys for watching until next time peace